Good morning everyone. In today's video, I'm going to harvest vinca seeds so I can plant more vinca next year for free. Check out all the little seed pods on my vinca plant. And if you notice, my vinca plant is dying because the plant's job is done and it has no more purpose to live. And see that little seed pod already opened up. So the plant is really on its way out. And if you notice all the little vinca seeds on the ground, see of course collecting them this way is kind of hard and seems to be a little ridiculous, but I just want to show you that I can harvest vinca seeds and have more beautiful vincas next year. If you put a white paper plate or a piece of paper and shake, your plant, sometimes the seeds will just fall. See? Vinca seeds. Or if you prefer, you can just cut off the pods and save them in an envelope. This one's pretty mature, so it looks like these seeds are just gonna fall right out. These are what the Vinca seed pods look like before they dry out and get mature. Yeah, this is proof I'm a gardener. Just look at my dirty hands. <laughs> and this is what they look like when they dry out. And the seeds are ready. Of course, you don't have to save the seeds. What you could do is just pick off all the pods and toss them in your garden. And they will probably grow somewhere in your garden. That's another way you can plant your seeds for next year the natural way as if they just fell off on their own if you notice this little plant not sure if it's a marigold I'm not sure what that is maybe a Cosmo that just came up on its own from seed look at there's a whole bunch of little plants in there so I guess some seeds just fell off in my flower pot and decided to come back up Oh, that's an awesome seed pod. That already opened up and the seeds are ready to either save or be sprinkled in my garden. Beautiful seed pods. Of course, you can buy seeds at the store for a couple bucks or even a dollar at the dollar store but there's just something really rewarding about harvesting and saving your own seeds. And a lot of times you only get maybe 10 or 20 seeds in a pack. So in my opinion, it's very rewarding to harvest your own seeds. It's fun. Look at all those seeds I got for free. A couple of these pods haven't dried out enough for me to open up. But that's okay, because I can already tell that the seeds are very mature because they're black inside. So what I'll do is I'll just put those two pods in the envelope along with my seeds. And they'll dry out and open up while they're being stored. And another way I collect seeds is, and this is a little bit easier, I'll just pick off a pod. See all the seeds in there? And I'll just drop it in the envelope. Just pick and drop. I just found another one. That one's nice and ripe. I won't pick the green pods because I don't think those seeds will be viable. I'll just wait a little bit until the skin of the pod is more transparent and I can see the black seed inside, like this one. I know that this one will dry out in my envelope nicely because I can see the black seeds through the skin. It's already drying out. Here are all the vinca seeds I've collected. I'll just drop them in the envelope. Seal it up so no slugs get inside. And voila, I have vinca seeds for next year. And I always put a label on it because I'm 60 years old and I will probably forget what's in here. 
I hope you found this video fun and helpful. Thanks for watching.